This video is a continuation of our free online series exploring unconventional technical analysis techniques. Previous videos studied the synchronization of market cycles with the longitudinal movement of the planets and the moon. Cowan explained synchronicity in his book, Four-Dimensional Stock Market Structures and Cycles. This technique does not try to find a cause and effect relationship between planetary movements and market cycles. Rather, synchronicity explores the relationship that may or may not exist between the two, without any cause and effect assumptions. A planet's longitude measures its orbital motion around the Sun. This video will study two different properties of celestial body movements. The first involves their changing latitude including nodes, which is where the body passes through the ecliptic, and its latitude equals zero. The second type of motion we will study is their distance from the Sun, known as apsides. We will start with apsides, which is just a fancy name for when the body is closest to or farthest away from the Sun or Earth. Closest to the Sun is called perihelion, farthest away is aphelion. Closest to Earth is perigee and farthest is apogee. Notice that the body's speed is highest near perihelion and slowest at aphelion. Due to inertia, the speed will actually keep increasing a few days beyond the perihelion point. We start by using Cycle Timer software to open the standard and pours 500 chart from our previous video explaining the correct scaling for GAN's diagonal angles. Six months of new data is charted since that video was originally produced in September 2022. Prices followed the 1x2, broke above it to the 50% retracement, then reverted back to the 1x2. When a new scaled GAN angle is drawn from the bottom, the retracement rally is seen to have followed these same angles. After clearing the chart, we study the synchronization of stock market cycles with the perihelion, or closest point, of Venus to the Sun. After the Sun and Moon, Venus is the brightest object in the sky. Its brightness is affected by how close it is to the Sun. The daily bars are compressed to show the past five years of data, 2018 to 2023. Synodic is chosen to calculate Venus's movement relative to its perihelion point. The Tools button is clicked and the Planet Cycle tab. Perihelion is selected. And since our background color is white, the first cycle color line is changed from red to blue to see it more clearly. Click Save. Notice that the programmable button at the lower right has changed from NN Planet, North Node, to PR Planet, Perihelion. Next, click Venus and notice the programmable button now says PR Venus. Click Venus a second time to choose the synodic position of Venus relative to its perihelion point. You could click any other body if you wanted to study a different combination. For example, if you clicked Earth instead of Venus, that would calculate cycles of Earth relative to the perihelion point of Venus, etc. Any combination of these bodies can be used, depending on the desired research. Next, enter 360 in delta to calculate complete cycles, and 0 in orb for the exact point where Venus arrives at its perihelion point, or the conjunction of the two. Click the Calculate button to draw the cycles. The synchronization for the past four years is pretty clear, oftentimes aligning within a day or two of the exact bottom, such as in December 2018, October 2020, January 2022. Notice from the data view above the chart, or the ephemeris, that the perihelion point does not move much over time. So once you have found that sensitive point, you can change your cycle to sidereal and Venus and you will get nearly the same results. You can also get very close to the same cycle by plotting the speed of Venus on your chart. Due to inertia, the speed will hit its maximum shortly after perihelion. But a quick plot of the speed will help when first exploring a relationship in a new market, using a variety of planets. Then, if a relationship is identified, check the perihelion points for more precision. The high risk zones, or periods of rapidly declining prices, can be seen by clicking the Add Another Cycle button on the left toolbar and dragging the crosshairs to any top immediately preceding the perihelion point. Scrolling the chart back in time shows a strong historical correlation with market turns including the bottoms in 2009, 2010, 2011, etc.
We will next study the third way a celestial body can move, its latitude, or the movement above and below the ecliptic. The ecliptic is the Earth's orbital plane around the Sun. The planets also orbit within this plane, with certain deviations. Their distance above or below the ecliptic is their latitude. When the body has zero latitude it is directly in the ecliptic, and this is called its node. When it passes through the ecliptic moving north, it is at its north node. Similarly, passing below the ecliptic is the south node. 90 degrees from the nodes is the maximum distance from the ecliptic. In the case of the moon, this is about 5.5 degrees north and 5.5 degrees south, or 11 degrees total latitudinal displacement. Considering that the apparent size of the moon is one half degree, this means the oscillation around the ecliptic is about 22 full moon widths, which is considerable. To see how latitude relates to market cycles we start with a clean standard and pores 500 chart. Since we are studying the moon, geocentric, or topocentric for intraday, is selected. The tools button is clicked and the planet cycles tab. North node is chosen, as well as true position. The true position of the moon can deviate from the mean by several hours, so it is important you use it here. Synodic is used. The north node planet button is selected and moon is clicked twice. 360 is entered in delta and zero in orb. This will calculate when the moon arrives at its north node, that is when it is passing through the ecliptic, with zero latitude, moving north. Calculate is clicked. While this shows some correlation with turns, we can improve it by not looking at the node, rather 90 degrees from the node at its farthest northern and southern points where it reverses direction. To find this point we enter 90 in delta and erase the entry in orb. Click Calculate. Looking at the data view shows the exact date and time when the moon is 90 degrees from its node, March 17th. 17 hour 2 minutes. The built-in ephemeris can be used to confirm that this is when the moon reverses direction. Be sure to use the settings as shown, including the same time zone as your chart, etc. Notice that on March 17th the latitude counts up to 914 and 915, then reverses direction to 914 and lower. The manual menu item is selected and this date is entered. 180 is entered in delta to show both the north and south extreme latitude points. Orb is cleared and calculate is clicked. A much clearer correlation with market turns can now be seen. If you want to distinguish between the northern and southern extremes you can click the add a cycle button on the left toolbar, enter 360 in delta, and drag your crosshairs to any of the cycle lines. Or more precisely, Enter that date manually from the data view, as we did previously. From the trader's perspective, you must be very careful trading moon cycles on daily charts because the moon moves very fast. Notice when some of these cycles arrived, the market reversed direction for only one or two days then resumed the original trend. This whipsaw action can wreak havoc on a trader expecting a multi-day trend reversal. Now that you know the technique, you can try different markets that you are interested in, using different planetary combinations. If you found this video useful, please subscribe below to be notified when new material is presented, or review the material at cycle-trader.com, which is the only legal source for Cowan's books and software.